Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now, uh, the, you know, I'm um, do a quick lesson here. Okay. You know, scrolling down social media and spotted a. Um, you know, an intriguing video. And um, right away, you know, uh, scriptures popped in my head as I watched it, you know, and the spirit say, hey, put it on wax. So that's what I decided to do through the spirit. But um, basically, you know, just give you an overview. Um, <clears throat> this guy is basically, uh, I guess it's a simulation that you can do online, you know, on a computer. And um, you can pretty much simulate uh, a, a nuclear missile hitting in a, whatever region that you type in. And, um, you know, uh, it shows you the amount of casualties, um, how many people will be injured. And it also shows, most importantly, the nuclear fallout. Okay, so, um, you know, this guy does a simulation and I believe it's DC or New York, but we'll watch it. We're gonna watch it. And, um, you know, gives a synopsis. And uh, like I said, he made a couple quotes that, made scriptures absolutely pop up in my head and and really it was uh it was massaging my my prophetical endorphins you know it got the juices flowing man so yeah decided to uh put it on wax and with no further ado let's jump on in Suburban Prepper here. So, you want to know DC. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click. Washington, DC actually pops up as first. And it's crazy because you'll see New York pop up as second. So, I'm, I'm assuming they go by, you know, how popular a search is and, and uh, population probably of these cities. And for the bombs, they you can literally choose every stinking bomb known that to to public right whoever but as see they got the, the the biggest bomb is the one that i that that i pick just so we're extra safe right better to be safe than sorry so let's click on the tsar bomb that and then let's go we'll do airburst surface let's do the surface now airburst we could do one and uh see the difference um, it's crazy actually how much dramatical it really is for anyone that hasn't seen this. I got casualties clicked on and radi oh, radioactive fallout. Let's see what happens. Um, all right, estimated fatalities, 2,300, 1,600 uh, injured. But look, let's look at where this fallout actually uh, spreads to. Because these will be people that wouldn't be worried. But see, look at this. So even if Washington, D.C. gets hit, right? Let's say they don't hit NYC. They hit Washington, D.C. I'm still fucked. No matter how you looked at it, I'm... I'm no matter... What? I'm fucked, right? Connecticut's just a no-go. Rhode Island, where are we running to? We can't run anywhere. Literally, we're in, we're in all radioactive fallout area. We're, we're doomed. Like, I need to get out of here as soon as possible when it comes to knowing how safe we are when it comes to actually trying to escape. Because there's nothing worse than surviving a blast just to die by radiation and have to deal with those side effects, which a lot of people, if you haven't seen my last video... You know, it's it's gruesome stuff, the symptoms, you know, like boils and bleeding out your orifices and, and projectile vomiting and, 
No, you don't get the cool shit like movie show where you get like three balls and three titties and stuff. No, that doesn't. No. But there you go. Washington, D.C. If anyone else has any uh, options they want me to do for them and look up, I have no problem in helping you do it. Otherwise, you can go on Nuke Map on Google and it's like the first fucking link. And um, you can see how it works. Now, this is radioactive fallout that they kind of determine from the weather. So... If you're wondering, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it. Hey, and he, <laughs> he was comical, you know? He said he don't have three balls and three tits. <laughs> nah, absolutely not. That's some movie shit, man. And that's what's coming, man. The Lord ain't playing, okay? And uh, rightfully so. It's time to end this reign of wickedness and terror, man. OK, but uh, like I said, key things stood out. He said we can't run anywhere. And that's exactly what the scriptures say, man. OK, and um, let's get it. This is Amos. He's he's spot on. He's actually scriptural. You can't run anywhere, you know, but yet and still he's saying, yeah, well, I, you know, well, we need to get out of here. So no, 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 you can't run. He said it. You can't run. You can't hide. And what they need to understand, it's the day of the Lord's judgment. OK, this is Amos chapter five, verse 18. And it reads, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Uh, to what end is it for you? The day of your by Shem Shai is darkness and no and not light. Verse 19, as if a man what's going to create that darkness. OK, that overwhelming abundance <laughs> of uh, nuclear uh, warheads being shot, uh, not just in America, but around the world. OK. It's going to be an astronomical amount of nuclear fallout, man. Okay, you, you're not, hey, nowhere, especially in America, nowhere in America is going to be safe. Okay, that's why we always say what? The only way out is up. Okay, verse 19, it says, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and, a, and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Verse 20. Shall not the day of Yahweh Shem Shai be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? You see? So that's what uh, uh, is coming to this planet, man. Okay? The day of the Lord. And, you know, whether uh, Edomite or whatever uh, 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 nativity uh, 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 a person is, they've heard of this. Okay? In one form or fashion. Now, um, whether they believe in it, especially if they're heathen, who gives a shit, you know, because it ain't for them. OK, but really, uh, like the scriptures say, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. OK, persuade means to teach when you go into that word. OK, so really, this is for Israelites to teach those of the hopefully elect. OK, what's coming and hopefully that compels them to uh, uh, come to the heavenly father. Like the scriptures say, uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the most high is the beginning of knowledge. OK, until you fear the heavenly father, then he's not going to teach you shit. You see. But the point is that Edomite was spot on, you know, whether he was Edomite or not. You know, that's neither here nor there. OK, but um, he was spot on. He he, cons he considers himself a prepper, you know. But guess what? You can't prep for the day of the Lord. Well, I'll take that back. An Israelite can prep for the day of the Lord, but it doesn't entail storing up goods and canned goods and things of that nature. It entails what? Keeping the patience of his word. OK, so that we may be kept, like it says in Revelations, the third chapter in the 10th verse from the hour of temptation. OK, but guess what? The hour of temptation is going to come before the nuclear missiles fly. OK. But like I say, he, he said that and it really sparked my interest, you know, so I get one more. Like I said, I don't want to make this too long. Get another one, you know, just to prove, show that. Look, <laughs> it ain't going to be one nuclear missile that hits Washington, D.C. or New York. OK, they're going to be a plethora of nuclear missiles uh, that hit uh, America. This is Revelation chapter nine. And 15, it says, and the four and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men okay and um first this is letting you know that it's a specific day that the lord has planned out in his mind okay nobody else knows not even the lord our lord yahweh shot nor the angels okay 
But the Lord is showing you the specifics of it that I got. He has a day, an hour, a month and a year. You see, for to slay the third part of man and the third part of man being who? Um, the Edomites. OK, because and, and it's ironic because the same devices that they created okay, to to flex their muscles and to scare one another into submission. OK, it's the same weapon that the Heavenly Father is going to use to destroy them and take them out of power. OK, how 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 beautiful. You know, like the scriptures say, how unsearchable are his ways. His thoughts are way above our thoughts, man. That is absolutely beautiful, man. OK. And they flex their muscles with, uh, uh, you know, considering that they came up with nuclear fission. OK. When ultimately uh, uh, nuclear fission is an element. OK. That the Heavenly Father created. So guess what? The Heavenly Father used you to create those those weapons of this, those weapons of mass destruction. OK, and it's beautiful. Verse 16, it says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand. OK, now let's do this real quick. Real quick. And I know brothers are familiar with it, but let's 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 do it. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand thousand Salakia there we go that's two hundred thousand thousand okay which equals what <laughs> two hundred million okay and that's exactly how many nuclear warheads are gonna hit America okay so as he said well I need to find a way to get out of where where you gonna go to okay you can possibly run overseas but Hey, there are certain nukes that are going to hit overseas in other countries. OK. And as we read in Amos, uh, the fifth chapter, it's like if you ran from a lion and a bear met you. OK. Or if you got away from that bear, then a, a, a serpent, a poisonous serpent bit you. And telling what? That you can't run. The Lord has everybody numbered, man. OK. And then, like I said, oh, like the scriptures say, I read it again. Revelations chapter nine, verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 000, which translates to what? 200 million. It says, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. So obviously, okay, uh, 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 in this vision that John is seeing, okay, obviously he didn't see a, a, a horse with the head of a, a, of a lion, okay, and a breastplate of jacin. Okay, this is parabolic to something, okay? Hey, and Thawadi Habashimi Shah for revealing this to our elders that those represent the nuclear missiles, okay? Now, this depiction I have of a nuclear missile, okay, isn't, you know, vivid enough, but, you know, when you, when you look at them, they line, it lines right up with this, but now the, does it have a lion head? No, we're going to read, we're going to read why it says a lion head. This is, um, uh, Revelation 9 and 17, it says, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them. OK, and the horses represent what power? OK, and that horse, the, 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 the power, OK, is, is the fuselage. That's what carries the missile. OK, and it's propelled by the fire that comes out the tail. It says, uh, and then that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. Why? Because the head of that missile is uh, uh, where the uh, the warhead is. OK, and that's really what what does the damage. Now, the fuselage is what actually propels that warhead, which they screw on the top of that fuselage. OK, that's the body. That's that breastplate. You see. It says, verse 18, by these, there was the third part of men killed by the fire 
and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issue out of their mouths. Okay. Now, whether a person believes it or not, who cares? They'll see it. Okay. But the Lord has already determined how many, okay, are going to hit America. Okay. And he's describing a missile because obviously you've never seen a, a horse with a lion head. That horse represents power. That lion head actually indicates where the power lies. Okay. With a lion, where does his power lie? In his mouth, his teeth. Okay. Which he can rip and tear flesh. Okay. But that's being, uh, 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 you know, a parable is being mentioned, you know, with the uh, nuclear missile showing that the power of that missile is in his warhead. OK, and 200 million warheads are going to be shot on America. So there's no way of avoiding the fallout. There's no way to run and there's nowhere to stay within the bunker. OK, so like I say, uh, you know, saw that video and it just sparked, you know, uh, turned my uh, <laughs> prophetical endorphins on and decided to put it on wax. So. Uh, I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I say shalom.